Austin State Representative Donna Dukes in her public corruption case won out. They are defending Dukes on 13 felony charges, but have asked a judge to withdraw from the case. This comes as the district attorney's office offers her a new deal with a deadline of tomorrow. KXN political reporter Phil Prazen takes a closer look at why the district attorney thinks drugs could be an issue. Number one, she, le she leaves office. Number one because she's betrayed the public trust. Number two is that if there are problems there, that she address them. If indicted state representative Donna Dukes doesn't get back to District Attorney Margaret Moore by the end of day Tuesday, her case is going to trial. District Attorney Margaret Moore tells me the only change in this offer is it now includes a drug and alcohol test and possible treatment, but the basics still remain. Resign and they'll drop the charges. The drug and alcohol test request came up after Dukes made public comments about continuing to use morphine after a 2013 car crash. And her second team of lawyers asked to stop representing Dukes. In a request to the judge, they write that they have been unable to effectively communicate with the defendant on matters essential to the representation. I reached out to her and her remaining Austin lawyer and have not yet heard back for a response or an interview. Moore says they're treating her like anybody else. We would ask that of any defendant that we thought ha had these issues. Number one, and number two, she has a child. If there's no action from the representative in 24 hours, she'll go to court in October. The judge over the case could appoint a lawyer to represent her. Phil Prazen, KXAN News. And as part of that deal, Representative Dukes would also have to pay back $3,000. Prosecutors claim she spent on personal needs. She will also have to pay a $500 fine to the Texas Ethics Commission for misreporting information. As of right now, Dukes is still considering a run for re-election next year.